If you have a 403B plus a solo 401k, how do you make sure that you're maximizing your contributions and saving as much as you can into your retirement plans? What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Or if this is your first time at our channel, welcome to the channel. My name is Travis Sickle. So this is a Reddit question. There are four parts to this question, and I'm going to give you four different answers to make sure that you're maximizing your retirement plan and contributions. If you have a 403B and you want to max out your solo 401k at the same time, and I'm also going to give you a bonus tip that I don't know will end up in these four answers. So I'm going to tell you that at the end. So let's go ahead and pull it up on the screen and go through it together. So here we go with the question number one, or the first part of this question, which is for the 403B plus this 401k or the solo 401k. If I contributed the max to my W or W2 employer 403B, so your 403B at work, I cannot contribute any more employee contributions to my solo 401k correct? Just up to 20% of my income from my locums gig as the employer contribution, correct? Yes, that answer is correct or what you're inferring is correct. So your max contribution is going to be up to as an employee is going to be 19.5 plus catch up contributions. And that is a combined number. So whether or not you have a 401k, it gets added to that 403B as the employee. So in this instance, if you're maxing out your contributions, then no, you can't make any additional contributions to the solo 401k as the employee. But you can also do that 20% of your net profit minus one half of your self-employment. And I think we're going to get more into that as these questions continue. Number two, the employer contribution is up to 20% of net earnings which is profit minus one half of my self-employment tax. That answer is, or that question is correct. The answer is correct. It is 20%. So it's schedule C line 31, and you're going to take that number and you're going to subtract one half of your self-employment, which is on schedule SE. That is your, basically your plan compensation. And you're going to take that number and multiply it by 20%. And that is the maximum that you can make as the employer contribution, which is in addition to your 19,500. Now for 2021, that is a total max plan contribution of $58,000 and that will increase if you have catch-ups as well. So the third part of this question is, it seems that the employer contribution is limited to half of net earnings from self-employment minus the employer contribution. Since I will not be making any employer contributions to my 401k, this limit does not apply, right? Well, as the employer is exactly where you would want to make these contributions. So if you're not making the contributions, it's not that they don't apply. They still apply, but you're just not using them. So I, I think you're trying to figure out how, how to get the maximum amount in there. And once you exhaust your 19.5, you're then going to have to flip over to your employer contributions, which is that, that math that we just went through, your net earnings minus one half of self-employment. Question number four, technical question. They're all technical questions. When contributing to my solo 401k, do the funds have to come directly from my locum's company, like the 403b contributions are cut from my W-2 income, or can I simply contribute from funds I have in my checking account? Now, it doesn't matter where the money is coming from. It's just how you're filling out your taxes. And that's basically what you're asking. So it doesn't matter exactly where those dollars are going to come from, but when you're doing your accounting, it is going to come from the business. So it doesn't technically, that check doesn't need to come directly from your business account. It can come from your checking account going into your solo 401k. But at the end of the day, you're just going to basically go and do your accounting and fill out your taxes and it will work out that it actually does come from your business. So it's kind of an irrelevant thing that there's no rule that I've seen. And if there is and I'm missing something, I don't think I am. Let me know in the comments down below. But for that, from an actual logistical standpoint, there's no rule that says that it has to come from your business account in order to qualify as a contribution. So there's no issue there. Now, what I will say is there's a lot of focus on this question with making the maximum contributions and trying to max everything out. 
And a lot of times when we're talking about maximum contribution, sometimes we actually forget what the actual maxes are and we're focusing on things that we're familiar with, like the 19.5 or making the 20% of your your net earnings from self-employment. Well, guess what? You can also do a non-deductible contribution all the way up to $58,000 as long as your plan allows for it, your solo 401k allows for it, and you obviously have the money to do it. So you can still make additional contributions. So when I see maxing this out, it's not always clear exactly what you're referring to. So 58,000 is the max, but that would even increase if you have catch-up contributions because you're over the age of 50 or 50 or older. So you can still do additional contributions above and beyond the 19.5 and your, your net profit minus one half of your self-employment. So it's something to keep in the back of your mind, also known as the mega backdoor Roth. And yes, that might be going away, but as of right now, it's still a thing. So you can also do that to max it out. So that is the 403B plus the solo 401k. And if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and leave your comments down at the bottom.